Hello and welcome back to Carmsden. So we're just leaving the house this morning. We have been away for a couple of weeks, not doing any vlogs. So we are just going up to the arable farm to pick up the machine we've got. We've just bought actually, we've just bought this to do this job. We did end up fertilising our field that's down the road there. The um, visitors did actually move on in the end, so we were able to do that uh, a few weeks ago. Um, it's raining here again. It's been raining pretty heavy and quite hard for two or three weeks on the trot now. So I changed my mind from ploughing and drilling and all that nonsense. Uh, with the old cow field to using this cultivator with a cedar on it uh, this is a Claydon machine we've got just to go in and do that reseed that field basically so and I'll put it on our new 6R with the chunky tyres it's a bit wet So we'll get to the dairy farm. We've also picked up a pallet of, um, it's quite heavy this machine. Let's see how much it's compressing those tyres there. We went and got a pallet of grass seed yesterday. Ready to do this today. We decided to go ahead and do it anyway. We know it's been raining for a while and it's due to, not due to even stop. It's in for the foreseeable future. It's just absolutely constant rain. Quite glad we've not got any animals here at the moment. It would be a bit of a nightmare trying to deal with them. unfolded and burst it back in here and put some grass lead in there so this is the pallet we've got some Cotswold grass seed so we've got to fill up our Stocks Ag Turbo Jet thing that's on there. So we'll get that filled up. We did never, never did sort those bales out in there. But there's actually no point at the moment if there's no animals there. So we'll get that filled up with grass seed and we'll go over this lot. As it's very old even stones in there right very rough bit of ground so we'll get this all reseeded for a fresh batch of animals that we can hopefully have eventually so we'll get this full up and we'll be back with you in a second we'll pop that lid back on so I've used that half that pallet from that up. Got a big old tank on it though. So hopefully we're gonna be able to cultivate this all up. I think we're going to set our boundary and go literally around the outside first, I think. So we'll just drop it down. Right, so if I've set this up right, we should better go ahead now and just rip this up and draw some grass.
those legs on the front of this are quite deep so it's ripping it up right from the bottom so the bottom soil is quite dry so hopefully it won't get too sticky and get stuck in there And if it ever stops raining, you can come in here with a roller later on. And it's just tacky enough to um, make sure it's all perfectly flat. over a little bit there because that's quite stony. that water tank Don't get too close to it and the water pipes in there somewhere so hopefully I damage that Still even a little bit back heavy for this tractor. Still got to do our um, digger job, which is to clear out all the river beds over there, which is the thing that runs through our land. We haven't done that job yet, so that that's what we'll be doing next. Um, probably not in this episode. Well, as expected, we 
interfere with it now. I was expecting it to disappear over the whole winter, so it's only December at the moment. So hopefully the seed should take, like I say it is about mid-December, but it is strangely mild as well, it's not particularly cold. gentle over that, don't want to flick it up all over the place. We'll have to wait till later to see how that turns out. But we'll leave it like that for now. So we have actually bought this machine, so if we need to use it again, we've got it now, so... Get that folded back up. We'll head off back to the arrow one. <coughs> and park it up in the shed. So we will leave that in here for now. There's the other clay and drill we now don't use.
I'll still keep hold of that one though, you never know. So for next time we need to go and clear out our waterway down there. Um, we'll try and get our digger, which we haven't used in quite a while, going. And see if we can get a trailer sorted out to get it down there. Because we've got, I don't think we've got anything to take that down there in. So, we'll get that going for next time and clear out the ditches that we've been asked to do before we get in trouble. So, thanks very much for watching this episode. And we'll catch you again in the next one. I just noticed it's just stopped raining. Well, that lasted all of about 20 minutes before it started again. Um, everyone's getting a little bit concerned around here with the rain because it's literally been for weeks on end and just constant. So, flooding is a, could be a bit of a problem. Um, and the weather people don't see any end in sight. So, that hasn't caused any problems here just yet. So we'll have to wait and see how it goes with that. So anyway, I'm back off home now. So, like I say, thanks for watching this episode. And we'll catch you all again next time. When we get the digger out. So, thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>